Despite the odds working against them, many restaurants have actually managed to open during the pandemic. So today we're going to take you to a few of the new kids on the block in the East Village. Chef, you opened a restaurant basically right as the pandemic was starting. Yeah, How true. has that been for you? Well, actually, um, yeah, it's a really sad. Before pandemic, we were getting popular, but after pandemic, you know, we closed the restaurant for three, four months, and then we reopened on June. And now we slowly picking up, so getting better. Yes. <laughs> we're happy to hear. I mean, you have quite the credentials. You've worked in some of the best kitchens in New York City. What made you want to open Mokyo and what do you serve here? I have my first restaurant, which is a Thursday kitchen. It's more like casual and like fun vibe. But here I want to do more um, elevated menu a little bit. So it's a little bit of uh, fine casual and also um, international tapas. People think tapas is a Spanish, but in Korea we have panchan, which is side dish. You know, variety dishes, same concept of tapas. Everything looks great. What did you bring out today? This is a corn dumpling on a bed of truffle salsa verde on top of parmigiano and fennel. It's a braised octopus with a kelp on a bed of Korean style rice on top of pimento and parsley as Ooh, well. I love pimento. And then this is cauliflower? Yeah, that's crispy cauliflower actually. And then jojo with um, raisin lamne, sea salt and mint. Wow, so many flavors. Last but not least, dessert. This pop rock with carbonated sugar and topped of raspberry coulis and Eva chocolate crumb. Mm. Hip hop. <laughs> There's a party in my mouth right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny, what do you serve here at Vire de Daba? So we serve authentic Punjabi food. Uh, Dhaba style cooking, which is a roadside shack uh, in Punjab. What is special about Punjabi cuisine? Flavors, richness, texture, and uh, fresh cooking. So when you go to a Dhaba, you know, they cook in small batches and they'll just make it right there for you. So this is very casual for you. You and your partners come from the fine dining world. One of your chefs has a Michelin star. So why go the casual route now? COVID-19, to be honest with you, fine dining doesn't work for takeout and delivery. So here we are focused on takeout and delivery. Everything on this table smells so good. What did you bring out for us to try? Dishes we have here are very authentic Punjabi dishes. This is Sarsun da Saag, which is a slow cooked braised mustard greens. This is uh, Jabi curry, and then we add in uh, vegetarian fritters to it. Ludhiani lamb curry. This is authentic Punjabi butter chicken. Alu tikki chole. So it's basically uh, potato cakes topped with onion, tomatoes, mint, tamarind chutney, a little bit of spice yogurt, and then olive and garlic naan. Oh my goodness, where do we begin? Do you want to try with greens? Or, sure, I mean, yeah. I was thinking maybe for naan. Yeah, you can have it with naan, you, you, whatever you want. Let, let me... That's like the Italian in me, I'm like, eat the bread on the table yeah, first. Let me, let do you me... do that in India also? Oh yeah. This is awesome. This is great pandemic comfort food too. Mm -hmm. It's fresh, it's healthy, you know. It's delicious. Craig, this is your second location. Yes. Tell me about baked cravings. What do you serve here? Cupcakes, cookies, brownies, cupcakes in a jar, which we ship nationally. We're nut free, peanut free, tree nut free. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It all rhymes. So you started this back in 2017. How did it all come about? What made you want to do this? Um, I was the CFO of another bakery in the city, and we basically shut that location down. And we spun up Baked Cravings, and there would be a nut free void within the city. And started started off just taking care of New York City, and it's grown to be national as far as shipping, yeah. What are you kind of famous for? We're really getting known for our cake rock. It's a combination of vanilla, red velvet, and chocolate cake with sugar cookies, sprinkles, and buttercream, mashed into a rock, and then our cupcakes in a jar. What are some of the highlights? I love the s'mores. The banana banana's great. Cookies and cream are great. And or a gold jar. It's a vanilla cake with gold edible glitter. Nut free. Mm-hmm. Tree nut free. You got it. Six Kosher? hours jar. Kosher as well, yeah. Something for everyone with a dietary restriction. <laughs> Which is important because a lot of people have them. Craig, thank you. We wish you the best of luck with everything. Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs>